A moment of silence. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. Boom, Lala's out. Crying out. There's a, there's a jungle out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe in your home, be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling it. I never and as we leave you, I'm Samantha John for our crew. You have a good night. We leave you with footage of Ian Allen's arrest minutes ago at the CCN compound. Of course, we will have an update for you in our TV6 News at 10. the CCN compound at the Charlotte Street entrance, which was more secured than usual. But while he appeared subdued on the TV6 news, Mr. Allen was much more defiant when he spoke to reporters as his arrest by the police was imminent. He said his arrest would be the price he pays for fighting for justice for the poor. The bigger picture is, am I a fugitive, am I a criminal to come down here with all these other police and whatnot to arrest me for what, and what, for what? But I will tell you something, I will let everybody know, this is the work of your commissioner, Dwayne Gibbs. Stop crime much if you really, really want to stop crime. Be safe when you home, be safe when you street. It's a cold place this and I really feel. They are acting on his instruction. Ask Dwayne Gibbs exactly what's going to be because it was brought to my attention that there are senior people, very senior, senior people at an executive level in police service who knows absolutely nothing of this. As the chance of his supporters grew louder, Mr. Lane was told by a reporter that he may be charged under the Sexual Offences Act for the broadcast of the video of an alleged rape of a teenaged girl. It led to a brief suspension of his show and an investigation by the police on the instructions of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Sexual Offences Act? 
what what sexual references are I committed on me? Let me understand all of it. Well, well, the information is they are here to arrest him. They will communicate with the police. They want to charge him. The, the details are sketchy, but we find this whole conduct of coming on the 11th hour of a six-month period to arrest him is really an abusive process. Ian has always cooperated, will cooperate. We're here to cooperate again, but I, it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. What? What? Mr. Elian questioned why the police wanted to come and arrest him since he would be more than willing to go to meet them in the police station. They made attempts to reach me, but never, we had a discussion, we had a discussion. You understand? And, and I'm sure I just can tell you the nature of the discussion, but they never indicated to me the urgency of the matter that you're going to come by 6 o'clock to lock me up, to charge you. Let them come get me, let them come get me, because I'm not going out. Given the legal trouble he was facing, we asked Mr. Elian. Mr. Elian, do you have any regrets in airing that yes. video, yes. given yes. what is happening? The suspect was held, the suspects were held, and they were all charged. What regrets? What regrets? and I will do it again. I will do it again. Soon after, as he again made it clear he was not leaving the CCM compound to go outside to the waiting police, about three plain clothes officers came into the compound to arrest Mr. Alain. When the handcuffs came out, he did not take that lightly. He resisted, leading the crowd outside to become more agitated. Eventually, the police decided to take him out through the south key entrance of the CCN compound, but the crowd moved there and they banged on the gate. Later, Mr. Elian was taken away by the police in an unmarked police car. Jewel Brown, TV6 News. We know that uh, Mr. Allen will be moved to the Mount Hope Hospital shortly, and from there, then it will determine whether or not he'll be kept overnight. Uh, again, he came here because he was complaining of chest pains. Mr. Mala says so far he has been, you know, been allowed to um, have access to his, uh, his clients. Uh, the police have been cooperating as far as that is concerned. And up to this point, no charges have been made. He made that clear that up to this point, uh, Ian has not been charged with any crime so far. Um, as, again, as far as he has been to be taken to Mount Hope. And uh, one more thing Mr. Mala shared is that he said if it's based on the, um, the, the charge they're expecting to be made, um, should that charge eventually be made? He said, well, then uh, he expects Mr. Allen to get bail. Uh, but again, charges have not been laid as yet, uh, you know, up to this point. Uh, but he says in, in the event that they are laid, if it is the charge that they're expecting, then Mr. Mala said he expects that uh, he will be able to get bail and uh, from there he'll take it from there. Stop crying, but, but again, you uh, really, uh, really want to stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm really free. I'm out here right now, supporters are out here. Voicing their, their support, uh, you know, very very voice, you know, very voiceful as far as, you know, you know, support, they, you know, they say that how they wanted to be free, they wanted to get out, um, they, you know, hoping that we'd okay. One person also told me that right now, um, she just passed him in the, um, the hallway. She said he's lying on a stretcher right now, we have ID connected to him, and then we talk to him there. Stop crying, you really want to stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm really free. And I think so. I guess he's kind of, you know, just waiting this to be transferred, and then from there, doctors will determine if he will be checked overnight or not. Okay, thank you very much, TV6's Anselm Gibbs. Coming up after this break, we'll take your calls on 627. Disrespectful, and you know, it really hurts me to see the way how they treated Ian Allen because he, most of this man is doing is trying to help, you know, our poor people. And they shouldn't be treating a man like that. He is trying to uplift the country. And I am very upset and very hurt about it. Okay, thank you very much, your caller. Waterloo, good evening. Good evening. So I must say I'm most distressed by this arrest of Ian Allen. Ian Allen is for the poor people of this country, both East Indian and African. And anyone who did not try to put a slang on it that is UNC government or this government is responsible for him being arrested, then they really, really wrong. Because most of the time, you really, really, really want to stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm really free. We support him. We're 100% behind him. So do not look. Is something happening in the police service that want to get rid of Ian Allen? Thanks for. Okay, thank you very much, Kola. St. Barbara's Village, good evening. Hi, good night, Mr. Lopez, and good night to Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, I wonder if the people of this country is actually watching what is going on in the country right now. Mr. Allen has done so much for the country, so much for many people who couldn't even get a voice or a hearing. 
and the police is like taking this thing to another, another level. I wonder if Mr. Gibbs is feeling good with himself tonight. Thank you very much, Cora, from St. Margaret's Village. And you can call us on 627-4106 and 627-8232 on the arrest earlier this evening of TV6 Crime Watch host Ian Ali. What are your thoughts? Good evening, Cora. Central. My, my thought is this government is very nasty. And Wayne gives me to get out from this country and stuff to get our tax money. Thank you very much, Cora. Next caller. Good evening. Hello? Yes, go ahead, Cora. Next caller, good evening. Hello. Yes, go ahead, caller, you're alive. Um, I just want to say that, you know, Ian Allen has really done so much for the country because even with the 51 year old man who was independent all the children, the police said on the TV that thank Ian Allen. So, how can they treat him like that? It is really unfair. Okay, thank you very much, caller. You can call us on 627 4106 and 627 8232. Caller, good evening. Hi, good night. Go ahead, caller. Yes, I would like to say I am. I'm so sad to see what is happening. And also, I mean, I, you know, appreciate all what all the other callers have been saying. And I hope the government is looking. And those policemen should be ashamed of themselves. And Mr. Dwayne Gibbs should. Okay, I'm really back after this. <laughs> And all you know, tune into Crime Watch on the United Crime Show. And it's a lad, oh now they're gonna take it to the edge. <laughs> but don't get loose in the jungle, cause if you get loose in the jungle, Crime Watch coming true in the jungle. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A 